Management of the limits is helpful in controlling consumption and in the automation of your systems. Let's take a practical example. Press the up and down arrow keys simultaneously to access the menu. Enter the settings by selecting the icon with the wrench and screwdriver, and then go to item M8, Limit Thresholds, and confirm. For this example, we'll set a limit on the current in phase 1 so that it intervenes on exceeding 70 amps after 5 seconds and resets when it drops below 50 amps for at least 10 seconds. Select the first variable limit shown on the menu and confirm. Confirm the choice of the reference measurement, current in phase 1. Edit the function item. In this case, the maximum threshold. Now, enter the menu for the upper threshold. Current amperes, 70, with the up and down keys. Lastly, set the delay time. In our case, 5 seconds. Now, we'll set the re-entry threshold. Select the item Lower Threshold and enter the value, 50 amps for this example, and confirm. Here again we need to set the delay time for this variable. Enter the item on the menu and set the time at the value established. In our case, 10 seconds. Press both the up and down arrows to exit and reboot the meter. This will save our settings. To view the limit status, go with the arrows to the specific screen. There it is. You can check the status thanks to the indicator on the lower left and the two threshold values, upper and lower, on the right, beside the column.